Hello and welcome to clickcentral.com. In this video we're talking about using the search object. Um, in a previous video we talked about how to create a search object and make it sort of dynamic between normal search and wildcard search. I'll, I'll put a link on how to do that in the, um, in the, in the, in the message um, of this video, um, in the comments of this video. Um, what we're going to look at now is slightly different properties, looking at the, the searching um, within the search object. So you can search within all fields, that's the default. Um, worth noting that it doesn't include any system fields, and it doesn't include any fields that you've set to be a system field with hide um, prefix um, command. Um, or the hide suffix command. Um, you can do obviously do a selected fields. So we can go across there and, and, and add the fields one by one if we like. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous of this just in case other fields get brought in um, later and you, and you don't remember to update this. Um, but it is very handy for specific searches like if you do an FAQ section and you want to search for the FAQ section of the dashboard if you put that into the help. Um, one would concentrate now is a list of fields. This is a comma separated list of fields. Um, obviously you could just type them in. Um, that again wouldn't be any more beneficial than, than doing it here. So instead we're going to use a concat function or another area of the dashboard that we created earlier. The dashboard we created earlier was the advanced filters. Again I'll put a link on how to do this um, within the comments of this video. Um, but if you look here we've got a list of all the different field names. If we select one then we can select a value of them. Uh, which is really good to add every single possible filter um, that you could have when you, and you haven't got enough space within the rest of the dashboard to put them in. So how that's done within the script is a data island is set up so we've got advanced filters with a field name and that's every field name down there and the table from which it comes from and, and it basically loops through all the tables that we define and then grabs every field um, from within that table now the benefit of this is you can within the script set it to ignore obviously certain tables if you don't enter it in here it will not read the tables field names or you could set it to ignore specific fields or types of fields in other words using the left command or the right function sorry to, to get rid of prefixes and suffixes so you can really control what's in this list now using the concat function I'll show you in a text box uh, we can then basically create that comma separated um, list for the search so we'll put it in as the field name and put in the comma as the delimiter. The moment we've got employee city which is a good point because we've still got something selected here so we can change that. Let's just go back in here and expand it slightly so we don't want anything to stop um, this full list being read and also let's make it distinct because I know oops, there are duplicates in there for very good reason as well. So that's the full list um, of all the field names from that table. Get rid of that. Now the search object doesn't like these square brackets. What we need to do is get rid of them. So we need to put the whole st string that we've just created within a replace function. So we're replacing the string that we've just created and we're replacing the open brackets first of all with nothing. Okay. Then we put the whole lot again in another replace. I'd love to know how to spell. There we go. Oops. And then this time we're going to do the close brackets. And again replace it with, a with nothing. Okay. So now we're going to get rid of the, the open and close brackets. So we can take all of that. Now we're happy with it. Now if we search, excellent. The only fields that are searched are these fields that we've defined within this table and like I said before we've got now got full control over that um, within the script so we can specify exactly which fields that, that really don't want to be searched. Sales amount could possibly be one of them. You know, why would you search a sales amount? It's possible, but why would you do that? Um, but you know, leave that up to you. You've got the options there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, love to hear comments on this video. Um, you know, about this video, about other future ideas and videos. Um, everything is on clickcentral.com. And uh, thanks very much for watching.